His works authenticate him. John chapter 14 verses 10 and 11. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. In John the 14th chapter, Jesus gave an amazing, amazing statement, a promise, a fact. He said in verse 12, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will also do, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Now, that was a statement and a promise uh, which didn't have a time limitation on it as far as his people are concerned. He didn't say that only those who believe in him in the first hundred years or the first 200 years of uh, to the church would do the works he did. He just said, those who believe in me, the works that I do, he will also do and greater works than these. Of course, he was referring to the miraculous works that he was doing. He was healing the sick, casting out devils, opening blind eyes, making the lame walk and healing people of all their diseases and sicknesses and uh, working miracles to meet the needs of people. So that's the works he was referring to. But what we want to do over the next several days is try to understand uh, how we as believers today will do the works he did. What were the things Jesus said in and around this statement he made in John 14 verse 12 that will open up uh, ability or insights for us to learn how to do his works. That means how you and I can do the miraculous works that Jesus did. How do we do it? What did Jesus say when he gave that statement in John 14 verse 12? So to begin with, we start off in John the 14th chapter. If you read the, read the first nine verses, you, you look at the context where Jesus began to say that in my Father's house are many mansions and I'm going to prepare a place for you. Now, Thomas promptly said, Lord, uh, we don't know where you're going and we don't know the way to get there. In other words, you're talking about your Father's house. We've never seen your Father's house and you never once has taken us to your Father's house. So we don't know where it is and we don't know the way to get there. Jesus responds and says, look, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He says, look, I am the way there. And then right after that, another disciple says, but uh, where is your father? I mean, we've been with you for three and a half years and you've never introduced us to your father. Where is your father? And in response to that, Jesus makes these two statements, the verses that we've just read. He said, you know, if you've seen me, you've seen the father. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. That means take my word for it or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. That means believe that what I'm saying is true because you're seeing the works happening right before your eyes. So here's the first thing we want to point out to you and I as we begin our journey on learning about doing the works of Jesus. The first reason or the important reason why you and I pursue doing the works of Jesus is this very fact. The works authenticate who Jesus Christ is. That's the context in which Jesus gave John 14, 12. He told his disciples, look, believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me because I'm saying that or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. The works authenticate Jesus Christ and today in our world, as the world around us asks us for a testimony, as a witness, what proof do we have that we, Jesus is who we say he is? The works we do, the miraculous works, authenticate our message about Jesus Christ. It is no different today, and that's why Jesus wants us as believers today in the 21st century to do the works he did, and even greater works, to authenticate that he is indeed Christ, the Son of the living God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that in our day, in our time, we as believers in Jesus Christ will arise and each one of us will do the works he did and even greater works so that we can 
have an authentication, a validation that Jesus Christ is indeed who he said he is for our day and our generation. Help us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.